Hello everyone, my name is Rishan Dhingra and today I have come up with a video where I am going to compare an Indian bamboo flute from a Chinese bamboo flute. Now, exactly one year ago, I started learning this flute, which is a Hindustani classical flute, which is called as Pasuri. It is uh, a eight hole flute with six finger holes, one blowing hole at the top and a tuning hole at the bottom. And when I started learning flute, I came across flutes of different cultures. I came across Irish flute and Western flute, which uh, which were made up of metal. I came across a Japanese flute, which was made up of bamboo and was known as shakuhaji. And the flute that impressed me a lot was the Chinese flute. So this is a Chinese culture flute that I have. Uh, I ordered this from Amazon.com. It is uh, made in America and it is of a Chinese culture. So if you ask me what is the major differentiating factor of this flute, it is this thin membrane. And this membrane is nothing but a thin skin of bamboo, which is peeled out and placed between the blowing hole and the finger hole of any flute. So when we play this flute, this membrane vibrates and produces a buzzing sound. Uh, I'll play a short note on this flute and do let me know how you find the sound of this bamboo flute. So you must have heard that it produces a sort of buzzing sound and as I told that this buzzing sound was due to this membrane. This is the major differentiating factors of a Chinese flute from the flute of any other culture. And if you ask me other differentiating factors, one of the other differentiating factor is that it is made into two pieces. Uh, the reason could be that bamboo is a natural occurring material and getting a bamboo of this size it's very difficult. So it is made into two pieces joined together using a copper joint and you have a flute ready. Also if you see towards the top and at the bottom, you see this structure over here. Uh, in Chinese tradition, it was made up of an animal product. It, uh, it was either a cow or an ox or a buffalo horn. But in this case, it is purely synthetic. So this flute doesn't contain any animal product. Also, if you just see the Indian flute, the blowing hole is very near towards the top. But in the Chinese one, it is very, uh, you know, it's very far from the top. I am not sure what's the reason of this, but yes, uh, the Chinese flute, any Chinese flute you pick up and you have this sort of uh, design in the Chinese flute. So th these were the major differences uh, between the Chinese and an Indian flute. Now the question comes, which flute should you opt if you want to start learning flute? I would just start with the Indian flute and specifically G skill flute that my teacher told me. Uh, I was also very apprehensive from starting from G scale. I bought C scale at the beginning, but my teacher said, no, you should buy a G scale. And today I, you know, understood what was the reason for that. Uh, the major reason of buying a G scale uh, is because you have sufficient distance between two holes in the scale and in C scale they are very near. So you get good practice in this particular flute to stretch your fingers and cover these holes very properly. And when you are a flute player, uh, it becomes very important for you to cover these holes properly because even a slight gap between your fingers and the hole can cause an airy sound and can distort your sound a lot. So uh, this flute gives you a great practice and also an 
in every indian flute i saw that these holes are very well crafted they are very deep and it becomes slight easier than the chinese flute because the holes in the chinese flute are towards the top and they're not that deep and in this flute it becomes a piece of cake to cover these holes so uh, this is the reason why i recommend an indian g scale flute over a chinese flute at the beginning also uh, one of the reason because you have even longer flute for example i have this flute uh, it's a d scale flute it's a d bass flute and you see there is a hell lot of distance between all the holes in this flute uh, if i would have started from c scale this would have been a dream for me for a year but since i started from g scale itself in the beginning so uh, covering these holes will not be a great challenge for me if i do regular practice from this hole and it is also a six uh, finger hole and one blowing hole flute it's a d scale flute uh, it, it it has a great sound i'll show its sound in a different video but yes uh if you start from g scale you know bigger flutes would not be so difficult for you so this was a major difference between an indian and a chinese flute uh just do let me know what you think about this video thank you so much bye bye